Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff and today we're checking out one of the most special pairs of Chuck Taylors that I've ever seen so far. It's the Feng Cheng Wang Chuck 70s. Let's check them out. Wow, I actually don't know where to start with these, but they are freaking awesome. The Feng Cheng Wang Chuck Taylors have actually been teased for a while. They first popped up in October 2018 at Shanghai Fashion Week, where Feng Cheng Wang carefully deconstructed and reassembled over 30 pairs of Chuck 70s to create a two-in-one patchwork Chuck 70 concept shoe, complete with hand-painted details. Since then, Feng Cheng Wang's team and Converse have been working together to bring those concept shoes to a more wider audience. And after numerous rounds of construction, fit and colorway explorations, this shoe dropped on October 15, 2020. The official name for this shoe is the Converse Feng Cheng Wang 2-in-1 Chuck 70, which makes sense because it portrays two distinct sneaker halves being fused together into one cohesive whole, taking inspiration from Feng's My Half collection. So what you're basically getting is a pair of Chuck 70s growing inside of another Chuck 70. Yeah, that sounds weird. There's two colorways at launch. There's a black and white colorway, which is easier to style and the one that we're checking out today. But there's also a persimmon orange colorway that I think looks a little bit more dope. But I suck at styling, so I went with the easier colorway. By the way, major thanks to Converse APAC for sending these over. I actually really wanted to check these out, so I'm super hyped about it. All right, starting with the box, it's a white Converse box with the Feng Cheng Wang branding. It's larger than the box that you get with the standard pair of Chuck 70s because this is a much larger shoe. Coming to the shoe itself, like I said earlier, the design looks like a Chuck 70 within another Chuck 70. Like for example here, you can see underneath the white panel that is just a normal black colorway of the Chuck Taylor underneath. There's a panel on the left side and the right side of each shoe, which is in a white ivory kind of color here and in the same fabric as the upper on a normal pair of chucks. As you can see, this only occupies half of the shoe. And then moving towards the back, in the space between the two panels, you have the Feng Cheng Wang branding right in the center. There's also two lace loops here so that you can tie the laces around the back if you prefer to style the shoes that way. Speaking of laces, you get two pairs of laces with the shoe. There's the standard white ivory flat laces which come weaved through the usual silver metal eyelets on the shoe. But then there's also a pair of flat black laces which have the Feng Cheng Wang branding repeated over and over. Because there's so many eyelets on the shoe, including the additional panels on the sides and the lace loops at the back, you can actually wear both pairs of laces if you want to. So there's a lot of different ways to style the shoe, which is pretty cool. But then personally, I feel like there's a lot going on with the shoe. So I stuck with the usual white laces instead. Try to give it a more minimalistic look. Coming to the inside of the shoe, it's pretty much your usual Converse All-Star arrangement. The tongue feels the same as a regular pair of chucks, but does seem to have a tiny bit of extra padding, like one slim layer that makes these slightly more comfortable. Apart from that, there's the auto light insole, which adds to the comfort factor, but that's pretty much it. If you've ever worn a pair of chucks, you know they're not exactly the most comfortable shoes out there. It's kind of a flat, stiff feeling underfoot. So if you're looking for comfort, obviously there's other shoes to look at. But the auto light insole here does make these a bit more comfortable compared to the regular Chuck 70s. Moving downwards, there's the usual Converse foxing tape on the side of the midsole. But you'll notice that it's a double layer foxing tape here instead because of the outsoles here, but we'll get to that in a bit. I have to say my OCD appreciates how they lined up everything so perfectly here. Even the way the outer panel on top joins the midsole below, it all just looks really clean. You'll see it very effortlessly transitions from the toe box area, which looks like a regular pair of chucks, all the way along to the back, which is the most dramatic part of the shoe, with the standard Converse All-Star badge peeking out underneath the split outer layer that also has the badge in a white color. As awesome as this looks, my general sense is that this area is going to get worn out pretty bad as you wear the shoe. Moving on, then lastly, coming to the bottom of the shoe, you'll see what is probably the most unique thing about the shoe. It's an outsole on top of another outsole, or at least it seems like. Yep, you have these two Converse outsoles on top of each other, the usual base outsole and the outer part on top, which is split into these four sections. 
This looks insanely awesome and they do add a bit of height if that's something you like in a shoe. This outsole is also the primary reason why these are such a heavy pair of shoes. There's not really two outsoles on top of each other, but the way the outsole is divided into sections and cut makes it seem like that. But it certainly feels like there are two outsoles because of how heavy these are. In fact, I think these are the heaviest pairs of shoes that I own. Speaking of which, you can't actually feel the weight of the split outsoles when you're walking around on these. It just feels like a regular pair of chucks, no issues at all, which is definitely a good thing. That's about it in terms of design. Coming to sizing and fit, these actually fit like a regular pair of chuck 70s. Usually most people go a half size down or a full size down with chuck 70s. I'm sure you probably have a pair of all stars, but in case you don't, you can just head on over to a store and try out a pair because the sizing here is pretty much the same. Like for example, I'm a UK 11, but I have really wide feet, so I went through to size here. But honestly, with chucks, you really need to try them on in a store to find your fit. All right, guys, with all of that out of the way, let's take a look at the Converse Feng Cheng Wang Chuck Taylor All Stars on feet. You know, I gotta say, I love these. I know a lot of you all think of me as this hype shoe guy, but man, there's just something about a pair of chucks. I, I can't explain it. Honestly, I think Feng Cheng Wang and Converse have done a really great job here. When I first saw photos of these, I thought they might be a little bit too chunky on feet, but they actually look pretty dope on feet. Of course, it depends on how you style these, but I think this might be one of my favorite pairs of chucks in a while. These are surprisingly just sitting in stores in some parts of the world, but if you missed out, it looks like there will be more colorways or different versions coming along soon, as well as a low top version as well if you prefer that. So you will have the chance to pick up something similar soon. Surprisingly here in Malaysia, these are still sitting at Converse stores. All right guys, so that's what I think about the Feng Cheng Wang, Chuck Taylor All Stars. I'd love to know what you guys think about these shoes. Are they a cop or a drop? Let me know right in the comment section below. Of course, if you wanna see more photos of the Converse Feng Cheng Wang collab, you can hit me up on Instagram and maybe give me a follow at Clinton Jeff. And hey, if this video was helpful and you wanna support the channel, don't forget to hit the like button right below and maybe subscribe because that would be definitely appreciated. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.